Hey, comrades, look, we've been saying this for a while, and it's time to lay out the evidence. The Democratic Alliance, DA, is racist. Let's get into it. Firstly, let me make it clear. I love white people and genuinely appreciate the idea of white people coming to save South Africa, caring for our black brothers and sisters. But the DA? They do not share this love. The DA's actions speak otherwise. Now, don't just take my word for it. Remember Herman Mashaba? Do you think uh, Helen Zilla is racist? She's the kind of white person that uh, believes uh, that uh, she is superior to a, to a black person. So she's and, racist. A, and a black person, <laughs> uh, a black yeah, person. That's, that's very racist. That's the it's, definition, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's it's the a, definition of superior. He said that Helen Zilla, a key figure from the DA, believes whites are superior to blacks. I mean, come on, that's textbook racism. Yet some of our people ignore it just because she's white. It's like being slapped in the face and thanking the person for it. And what about Mamusi Maimon? When asked if the DA is racist, he couldn't even deny it. Instead, he highlighted the party's underlying issues. Do you believe the DA is a, is a racist party and has a racist framework? I think it would be incorrect of me to say that a whole organization is racist. Mm. There are South Africans inside the DA who are... South Africans who genuinely care about South Africans from different walks of life. The difficulty is that the predisposition that makes the DA a minority party and then miscalculation of what Steve Biko said. You know, the dilemma with some liberals is that they think for you to come in, not only must you be assimilated in, but you must be liberal like them. 100%. Folks, if someone in the thick of it can't deny the racism, what more proof do we need? But let's dig deeper. Zill once called the EFF and MK dogs. But we're not going to say the people of KwaZulu-Natal can be thrown to the dogs, not at all. That cuts deep. The EFF and MK represent black pride, and calling them dogs is not only sad, but incredibly hurtful. Yet here we are, with the DA gaining influence in our politics. Remember Ronaldo Gauss and his racist statements? All right, so there's a couple of things I want to say. Okay. The f all the f that's all I've got to fucking say. The fucking nigga. This man used violent language against black people, urging violence, and yet he was part of the DA. This is dangerous, comrades. The DA's racist undertones are not something we can afford to overlook. Their emblem doesn't even include black. They've got all the colors of the flag, but no black. Coincidence? I think not. It's a blatant exclusion and a shameful one at that. As a black person, it pains me to see us ignoring this clear evidence. We still give power to whites who treat us in a racist manner. It's like we haven't learned from our forebears, and sometimes it feels like we're cursed to repeat the same mistakes. Zuma started MK out of fear and a desire to save South Africa. And I was only talking about specific things that he has done that to me are not presidential. They're not allowed by the law, by the constitution. Those are the issues I was dealing with. Yet Zuma's worry is ignored. This is bigger than it seems, comrades, and Zuma can see that. Malema, who often speaks out against racism, is labeled as racist or jealous. How twisted is that? Cyril Ramaphosa often looks terrified when speaking to the media, as if he knows he's taking sellout positions. He probably goes through the worst. He's also not putting the country first. Unlike Zuma, who retired from the presidency for the nation's sake, one day, the truth will come out. We'll realize this curse and understand the mistakes we've been making. Malema could lead us to a better future, but ignoring him shows where we are headed. Many say we should give the DA a chance, but today's message is about presenting the evidence I have. These are the quick facts, not something to undermine. South Africans, we need to address this truth first, then move forward to a better South Africa. Let's stop hating our African brothers and sisters. And really, how can we keep ignoring this? It's like walking into a wall and saying, well, maybe it won't be there tomorrow. Remember what Helen Zilla said? We don't want to hand KwaZulu-Natal to MK and the EFF. It would be a total disaster for that province. She sees us as a disaster, comrades. Herman Mashaba discussed Zila's attitude, describing her as a white liberal who thinks giving extra attention to black people is doing them a favor. As a white person, giving my mother an extra tendrance, they think they're doing her a favor. She's a kind of person that believes, uh, or me, even when she looks at me, mm. she still sees a boy. Mm -hmm. She doesn't see a man, uh, and, and she's liberal. She's the kind of white person that uh, believes uh, that uh, uh, she is superior to a, a white uh, to a black person. That's not help. That's condescension. Musi, my man, pointed out the DA's challenges and its skewed stance towards serving a specific group. We need to recognize these issues and stand against them. 
Ronaldo Gauss's racist statements are just one instance highlighting the DA's racist undertones. His suspension doesn't erase the fact that he was part of the party. In summary, comrades, the DA's actions and statements provide ample proof of their racism. We cannot keep ignoring this. They exclude black from their emblem. They tolerate racists like Gauss, and their leaders make condescending remarks about our people. As supporters of justice and equality, we must stand with organizations like the EFF and MK that fight for all South Africans to benefit from the economy. When Zile calls the EFF and MK dogs, it's not just an insult, it's a clear indication of her and the DA's disdain for black pride and progress. South Africans should be happy that organizations like the EFF and MK exist because they fight for equality and for all people to benefit from the economy. Ignoring the DA's racism only empowers them to continue their harmful agenda. We must be vigilant and vocal in our opposition. Imagine a South Africa where we all benefit equally from our economy. This is possible if we reject racist parties like the DA. With over 40,000 people signing a petition to remove Gauss, it's clear that many recognize the DA's issues. Look at how the DA's actions have been condemned by political parties, civil society, and the public. Gauss' racist videos are just one of many instances that show the DA's true colors. Their racist actions and statements lead to distrust and division. By opposing them, we can unite and build a better South Africa. We have the power to choose our leaders. Let's choose those who fight for equality, not those who perpetuate racism. We must face the reality of the DA's racism and work together to overcome it. This is not a trivial matter. Racism harms our society and our future. We must take it seriously. Let's stop assuming the DA has our best interests at heart. Their actions show otherwise. This isn't a new problem. The DA's racism has been an issue for years. It's time we address it head on. If we continue to ignore this, we allow racism to persist in our politics and society. But I believe in our power to change this. Together, we can stand against racism and build a better future. What do you think, comrades? Have you seen these issues too? Share your thoughts and let's discuss how we can move forward. Stay tuned for more discussions on how we can address these issues and fight for equality in South Africa. Next time, we'll delve into how we can support progressive parties and movements that truly care about our people. Stay tuned, South Africans. We must stand together against racism and work towards a future where everyone benefits from our economy. Let's not ignore the truth anymore. But this Clause 24 and all these things Helen Zeller is saying, it stems from the same Ronaldo host mentality. She, she's got an incredible need to be in charge of black people. Mm. She cannot understand that we are invited here. And as we are invited, the rules were given to us. We could have said yay or we could have said nay. MK said met with the ANC, they said nay. Mm. EFF met with the ANC, they said nay. PA met, DA met, we said yay. Now she comes here. We have been telling people this thing is pure, pure racism. Embarrassing the African National Congress. You know, I must today say something. During those negotiations, I've never seen the ANC being so generous in, in listening to views. Mm. 